Now, within this video, we'll continue our working on our template. In the last video, we have created the header with the navbar and initialized the project. For this video, we'll complete with a calendar that will be shown here and a little sidebar or side menu here that is going to allow us to add a new event and to list all the events within a specific date. So let's get started. Okay. I will come here and create a new dev class. Sorry. Dev.true. And I will create at two columns. The first one is for the small is going to be 12 column and for the large is going to be nine columns. And I will create another one. SM12 to LG3. This one for the calendar, and this one for the day menu add and list. Great. Now the calendar is going to be a table. I will give it a class called calendar table like this. Then within it, I will create a T head, the header of the table, TR, then create cells. Okay, this one going to be with Sunday. The first day of the week is Monday, but if you go to the calendar over here, as you can see, most of the calendars start with Sunday. So I'll make it Sunday. And repeat it for seven times. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Great. Now let's create the T body. Okay, awesome. Because the columns are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so as you can see in May this month. The first day then Friday so the numbering will start from here here we have an empty uh, days for this month and also here so for the number of rows is not all always four rows sometimes gonna be four sometimes gonna be a six and sometimes going to be five for example if this month started here so enough rows is enough five rows is enough but because it starts at the end of the first week and it ends at the beginning of the last week. So it needs six rows. So by default, I will create six rows by creating this one. And within every row, I will create a cell. This cell is going to consist of a day. I will create a dev give it a day class we'll create all of these classes after we finish the structure of our table then the day is going to consist of a number to the number of the month the number of the day in the month sorry font size 24.ms font weight regular let's make it 0 1 Okay, this is the default structure of the day. I will add also a shadow effect for it. Shadow effect. Okay, that's awesome. Now we can copy this for seven times within the row. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, go right now. As you can see, I have seven. Wow, it looks an awesome calendar, right? Now let's copy this row and paste it for six times as well. One, sorry, two, three, four, five, and six. That's great. For the numbering, I'll leave everything right now for zero, one. And let's go back to the CSS and start styling our table. Calendar style. 
Okay. Dot calendar table. The first thing I will start with is the margin. Margin of 10 pixel. Then I will start with the width. 100 pixel. Like this. Wow, things started to be a little bit cool. For the background color, I will make it a very, very light gray. So again, I will go back to Flow and UI and I will choose very light gray, which is this one, gray 20. Copy that, paste it here. Okay, this is exactly what we want. Now let's make text align, center, and I want to add uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. what else I want what else I want yes let's go and add the T head the background color will be white as it was yes like this I'll give it a little adding 10 pixel No, for each cell, sorry, which is enough. Okay, that's great. That's it. Now we can go to the day. I'll add calendar, table, and for the day within it. There is a class, sorry. Okay. I will make width 150 pixel. Let's check it. And the high as well. 150 pixels. Okay, mm, it looks a little big. Let's reduce it a little bit. And I'll define a min width 425. Then I will add a margin for 10 pixel. Okay. Add a border radius for five background color white text align center. Ah, it's, it's, it's in the center already. Sorry, add a padding to five pixel. Okay, right now it looks great. I think we have seven rows, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they are six rows, seven rows. Let's try to reduce the high a little bit. Maybe it's better. So we need to say the whole uh, table. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Come here and remove a row. Like that. Okay. Now we want to add uh, the rest of styling for the day that we are in. It's gonna have a special style, and for the selected day, go back to the main.css. Don't forget to add a cursor pointer because we will select this one so it's gonna be like a button as you can see here now I will add day not day sorry current day like this I will add a border two pixel solid and with the blue color of Microsoft again go to home fluent I will choose shared colors yeah, this one, I will choose this blue. Copy the code and paste it here. Then I will make one of the days active. Say this one, current day. Go back to the calendar and we haven't seen any changes. Okay, there is problem over here, current day border to pixel where is this day ah okay here it is 
Let's also make the color of the text as well with that blue. Okay, this is better. Now, for the current day, it will be, looks like this. Now we need another style for the selected day. Let's create another class called selected day. Add a border to pixel, solid. I will add a color but for now. Let's go here again and I will choose theme slots. I will choose a dark blue, this one, theme darker. Copy it, paste it here and paste it here. And for the background, it's going to be a very light blue. So I'll choose this one. And I will mark another day as selected day. Selected day. Go back to the calendar. And here it is. But the color of the background doesn't appear to be applied. Background color. This one. What's going on with you? Okay, do this one as an example. Move the color here. The calendar, let's click on inspect element to see what's going on with this. Uh, sorry, because it has the background color from here. I will remove it. And, or I will mark this one as important. So it will take that one. So important. Okay, here it is. This one, okay, it looks better. This one for the selected uh, day. Great. We still have to implement the events for the days to show that the first event with a little text within it for each day that has events. So I will come for two or three of the days. Let's bring this one. I will add a dev called dot event. Call it day event. I will add a little text for it. Call it, for example, watching Microsoft build. Okay. And copy this one, paste it in multiple places. Okay, like this. Now let's add a little styling for this uh, event. Come here and say dot day dot day event. Okay, I will add font size, make it ten pixel. Then make padding or five pixel, which is enough. Now I will create set of colors. I will use them multiple places so they will be separated. Colors for the background. I will put one called orange, red orange, then magenta, magenta, and uh, pink red dot yellow dot what else let's go back to flow into UI and the choose of those colors and go to shirt okay first let's take the red orange this one background and the color going to be in white 
for the magenta here. Again, add the background color. No need for color or the same. And font color will be in white. For the pink red, do it the pink red, this one. Background color. And the color is also in white. Yellow. This one. The colors of Microsoft that are just awesome. Colorful life. Makes you feel optimistic. Basically. Now I'll add the last color, which is this yellow green. I love it. Yellow, green. And the color will be black. Okay, let's go back to the calendar and let's add some of those to the events. Yellow, green, and magenta for this one. I'll add the yellow for this one or red orange. Let's check what is the result. Wow, it looks just awesome and colorful. We still have to do this one. There is another one. Where is it? Yeah, this one. I'll make it. What do we have? Red, orange, yellow. We still have yellow. Yes. Here it is. It's just perfect. Our calendar is somehow ready. I prefer to reduce the margin a little bit. So make more space or, or reduce. Use the space to. Yes. That's better actually. So. This is our calendar right now ready. In the next video, we will implement the form to add a new event and the form that on the, the panel to show all the events within a specific date and add the uh, drop down lists here to choose the year and month to show the events for that specific uh, month within a specific year. Okay, thank you so much for watching again and please, if you enjoy everything, don't forget to click the like, share, subscribe, all the buttons that you can see on the screen. And thank you again and see you.